Greetings, fellow glitchlings. My name is Onboy Glitch. I know I keep looking off to this side. It's my recording. I want to make sure everything's fine. So, um, yeah, we're back with Toad Jam and Earl 3 Mission to Earth. And where we left off with the video, if I'm not mistaken, that is, we were right here. About to enter the urban, the, or I mean, yeah, we're about to enter the urban zone, that's for sure, after I'm done with the grassy zone gate battle. But, alright, let's do this. Hell yeah. Alright, what do you got to say? Come on. Yo, what's up? It's I'm also transed out still, see? Okay. Now listen up. I have felt the tremor in the funk, which tells me that there is something righteously unfunky down there on Earth. Oh, maybe what unfunky. Well, I look into this. I want you to spread the word of funk. Oh, I spread the word, all right. You feel me? They stand I feel, man. I feel. Oh, and do it fast, I. Once you get this okay. done, you can move on to the urban zone of Earth. Meet you on the other side. The mine out. Wash out. Let's do this. Yeah, see? Transed out, but guess what? I'm not wearing blue anymore, so that's why I'm not full transed. I'm wearing white, so... Let's do it. I got nothing against wearing blue. It's just that, you know, it looked a little weird that, you know, it went with the uh, background. If you did enjoy that, by the way, though, do say so in the comments. I will be gladly to wear another blue shirt, you know? <laughs> Kung Fu kick! Uh, oh, excuse me, but Funk Fu, you bitch! Instant Funk Fu! What? Idiot! I'm... I'm... I'm not gonna win. I'm, I'm not gonna win. Get back here, you fucking chicken. Come on, you fucking feathered, yellow feathered prick. Back here. There's 13 of these guys. And I have to kick each and every one of them. I don't have any Funkify notes, so I can't do this. Funkify notes are not unlocked till the, the other part of the game. So... I don't know. Probably the urban zone, I believe. I'm not sure. Come on. Beat, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Like oh, son of a bitch. Beat, beat it. I am the bomb, bitch. Well, that fall from another planet's gotta hurt. Even if we're an alien, I'm pretty sure that's gonna hurt. That's gonna more than hurt, actually. That's gonna kill you. That would overkill a human, actually. That's... That's for fucking sure. Man, that would... Oh. My TV went a little weird. Alright, urban zone. Let's do this. Yeah, I did. Okay. Cause you can rhyme. Ch Cause you can rhyme chicken with khaki. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way. Of course, of course. My dog, Santa Funk, he gonna look you up with some Icarus wings. Ooh. Don't worry, you'll see what that's all about. I'm still looking into what's causing the tremors and all of that in the funk. I'm beginning to suspect Sorry. it is a dog I had candy. to the funk. Well, I got to go. Later, y'all. Yep, later.
And this game was uh, made back when uh, all this was actually cool. You know. I mean, nowadays all this is, you know, not cool anymore, but, you know. This was back when, you know, funk was a, was a thing. You know. Another key. It's the one thing I didn't really like about this game is the map doesn't show you where the keys are. But I don't really think it matters, really. Would have been hard either way, even if you had the map. Because, you know, it's not about finding the keys. It's more about can you even get to the keys, really. That's what I like about this game, though. It's, it's fun. Especially when it's two-player. But, you know, I will admit, um, this game is one of those... He's a wiener. Did you know that? Yeah. Wiener. Fly, baby, fly. We're not gonna, like... <laughs> We're not gonna throw a baby off a building and see if it can fly, are we? I bet no one expected this baby. Oh, God, I spit it all over myself. Ugh. I bet nobody expected this baby to fly. And it still can't. Slamming some points. <laughs> did I, wait, did it just thank me because I found all the keys? Yeah, I did. Alright. Alrighty then. Now that we found all the keys, let's get into one of these levels now, huh? My new trans adventure here. So I found out um why um the trans was going so like bonkers weird in my uh, nitro cart video. It's because my lighting is terrible. Meaning like, you no, know, right now you know how my trans is is only focused on the wall. It's because I set it to blue, because my wall is blue. But, you know, when the lighting changes in here, it's like, like, say, when it hits nighttime, or it gets darker outside, and stuff like that, my lighting is different. And, you know, that's when, you know, you start to see the wall again, and that's when I try to fix the uh, thing, but I wind up, like, transing everything for some reason. You know, so... But I found out that maybe I should just start recording for, like, yeah, we're going to do Funkify the situation. So I was right. Remember? Remember? Remember what I did? All right, I'm going to do it. Hold on. I have to wait for it to come on. We are the soul sisters of emancipation here to help you Funkify your earthling brothers. You've got to funkify the situation If you want to funkify them crazy mothers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love doing that. Always do it. Every time I play this game. Every time. I have to. Pick up the little flying notes And then you can wipe them and fire them at the earthling. Find and collect the fire. You cool with that? That doesn't count. <laughs> Go, bitch! <laughs> Missed. So, yeah. I believe... Thank you. I believe, um... I'm gonna say this right now as I'm playing the game. Ooh. That's one of those, um... Funkify notes, instant points, and extra bucks are the three presents you want to use immediately. Rather than, you know, wait for a specific moment. 
you know, you actually want to use those right away because instant points can, you know, can, oh Jesus, uh, hold on, let me punk these guys first. So I can finally talk in safety. All right. Now, back to what I was saying. Funkify notes, instant points, and extra bucks are the three presents you want to use immediately. Because instant points will give you more. Will give you more points. And. I wasn't talking to you. All right. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, instant points will give you more points if you use the present. Extra bucks, well, self-explanatory, you know, and you just saw me use Funkify Notes, so you know what that does. Um, they just basically give you more money, more Funkify Notes, and more points. More points means you'll get closer and closer to being the next level in your, uh, funk food belt, you know. Extra bucks will give you more money to buy, you know, presents that you need. Or, if you just saw something like this and find nothing that you really need, um, hint, trust me, you're not gonna need food. That's, like, everywhere in the game. Trust me. You won't need to buy it. This is what you need to buy. At least buy, you know, as much as you can hold, really. Because... Funkify notes are like the main thing in the whole entire game that you're gonna need because if you're not like a belt level, if you're not like the belt level as the um person, you can't funk foo them. So you have to use your funkify notes. It's moments like these that I wish I could pause the video though. So. With that being the case, <coughs> future me, you know what to do. So, now that we're finally done, and we're overstocked on Funkify Notes, we have 130 of them. So, these guys are blue belts, which means I can't kick them. I always say kick instead of Funk Foo, which is kind of weird. Yeah, but, yeah, but, you know... See, also, if you're, but if you're also a guy like me, if you're also a guy like me and you've already played all this, you already know what everybody's belt level is in this game. But, if you're a starter, and you've just started playing this game, then, here's a little, here's a little, uh, hint that, um, here's... Here's a little hint that, um, well, Lamont already told you, but you can do this, kind of like what I did on the Carrot Man, press X for info, and there you go. Construction worker. Okay, he's the blue belt. Which means, if you look at the blue belt, you look back at your belt, see how I'm an orange belt, I can't kick him. I wonder why I can kick him now, is because I funk food him already. You have to use your Funkify notes. Don't know why I'm explaining this all to you. You're not playing right now, are you? For those of you who probably are playing this game, well, you learned something. If you're first starting this game, however. Now back to what I was going to say before, you know... No, no, uh, finish that, please. <laughs> don't worry about those guys, they don't count as earthlings, but you could funk foo them just because they're annoying. 
you know. Anyways, what I was going to say before I interrupted myself with another, uh, you know. Um, back when I was. I know, I keep interrupting myself with the game, I know. Either that or I keep, uh, adventuring off, you know, in my mind, and I don't even talk about it even more. Anyways, what I was going to say is that this game is, like, one of the, I believe, is one of those games where, um, you know, where if you only hear, like, the, uh, introductions once, you already know what's going on. You know, all you have to know is being told how to play this game only once, and that's it. You already know. Just, like, all, as long as you know all the basics, you already got this game down, you know. Basically, just use your presence. Oops. Yeah, use your presence, as I previously just stated for you guys. Press Y to Funkify. Do the, press X to kick them. You know, as long as you know the basics, that's all you really need to know. So, yeah. You just gotta know the basics in this game. After that, you don't really need to know any more than that. So, yep. The funny thing is that, um, I grew up with this... I kind of grew up with this Toe Jam girl, which is kind of weird because, you know, there's a Sega, there's a Sega one with the, uh, you know, Sega Genesis and stuff like that, um, that was the first and second one, this is the third one that made it to the Xbox, it's still made by Sega, you know, but, um, the new one that's coming out, Sega's not behind it anymore. Actually, it wasn't really made by Sega. It's made by the people who actually made the characters. But, you know. You know what I mean, though. Alright. It's just that Sega what was the company that uh, owned this game. You know, but now they don't own, you know, Toe Jam and Earl anymore. You know. The new one is, um, I believe, um, Adult Swim Games, actually. Which was very eye-opening for me because I was like, Wow. I expect there to be more swearing in this one, then. Because, you know, it's it's Adult Swim. I mean, I'm kind of expecting more swearing. I know it's hard to see those sparkles, but, uh, yeah, if you see those, just pick their hidden things. However, I'm going to warn you right now. I, I need a key. Oh, I found all the keys. Remember, belt level. Converted all the Earthlings. Congratulations, you converted all the Earthlings. I still think he's reading off a script. <laughs> well, everybody, every voice actor does that, but I'm just saying, you know, you're supposed to make it like it, like, make it sound like you're not reading off a script, you know. And, you know, there are some, um, with the construction worker, like, entirely... Is what I'm talking about. Um, he, there are like parts where it sounds like he's just reading off a script. You know, <laughs> like word, homegirl, I am cool too. Like it just sounds like he's like he's putting on the voice, but he's reading the script. You know, it, like as slow as possible and stuff like that. Just to you know, just to warn everybody that he's reading the script. You know. <laughs> He's reading it, man. I found the exit elevator. I did? Oh, I did. Oh, my checklist is complete, too. I'm out of here. See ya. I love this game for its music, though. That's nice monster. <clears throat>
I guess you could say I, I like music. You know, like, it doesn't have to be video game music or YouTube music. It just has to be music in general. You know, candy again, by the way. Why is this here again? Oh, you're right. Why do they give me, um... Okay. They give me spring shoes because of, uh, things like these. Wait. If- Oh, yeah. By the way, I don't think a lot of people know this, but in order to cancel a present, you have to press the back button. Because I don't know if any of you... I don't know if any um, of anybody know this uh, when they're playing the game, because I didn't know it when I was a kid. Like I didn't know you could cancel a present. I always thought you just had to wait it out and stuff like that. But no, there's like the back button. You know, lets you choose. You know, whatnot. So we're gonna go in here. Fly, baby, fly. Please. You know the funk is the gospel, y'all. You gotta answer when you hear the call. Mm -hmm. Get your mission. Love doing that. I love it. Candy. All right. To do checklist. And fly, baby, fly. Complete the mission. Unlock Icarus Wings. Unlock Show Elevator. Unlock Bubble Shield. Find the exit elevator. What's up? Yeah, you got to use the Icarus Wings present to get from one plateau to oh. another. Oh. Okay. I don't know why it's called Fly, Baby, Fly now. All right. I was. I'm going to be able to use the Icarus wings. That's what it was. I thought we were. I thought for a minute there we were throwing a baby off the building. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Don't. I can't be the only one thinking that. Come on. Am I really? Oh my god! I'm such a bastard. I'm sorry. Did you fart? Huh? Ah! I'm gonna. I'm gonna prove to you guys about belt level. Look, this is what belt level does. Yep. Exactly, see? Yep. So you can. So yeah. Exactly what Lamont said. You have to, uh. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is where all the trading comes in. You trade, like, a... If you ever see, like, a, a pink, like, thing in front of them, they like to trade with you. So, she sees I have food, alright? She says she'll give me spring shoes for the food. What do you say? You can press A for yup, B for nope. You can obviously see that. I don't know why I keep telling you guys this stuff. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, sure. Now I know what you're thinking. You're gonna need that food later. Why did you take... You're gonna need that food later. Why did you sell it? Well, food can be easily found throughout this whole game. So, it's not exactly hard. And plus, I have like 13 presents of food. I'll be fine. You know? <laughs> All right, I only. But I'm gonna tell you this: the most rare present, Icarus wings. I know, right? You get introduced with Icarus wings and say that they're important, but they're very rare to find for some reason. Meaning, like they're not like. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck off! Ah, I hate Cupid. Yeah, see, Cupid's like a reverse control character. I hate it when she does that. 
Well, he, she, I don't know. Cupid's Cupid. I don't know. Cupid's my least favorite character. And... No, 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 no. We're getting Cupid first. Not to mention, um, they're also the most annoying character in the whole game. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to use it on this guy right here. Yeah, see, that's what I mean by sparkles. Sometimes they're bad. And they bring out another earthling. The only way you'll ever be able to know what is what inside of a sparkle is if you use x-ray glasses. Wanna trade with me? See, you have decoy. Sure. Now I know what you're wondering. Decoy. It sounds useful. It's not. It's, yeah, decoy is like one of those presents that it's useful more for when you want to run away, you know, and there's barely even a part in this game where you'd want to run away. Yeah, I see. See. Instant points, remember what I told you? Use them immediately. Promotion, that's why, see? Instant points helps a lot. And I functified without knowing what the fuck I was doing. My last wins. Oh, yeah. that feels good. I do not like that the, f the fact that, you know, the wings are like that. Well, there it is. Oh, more wings. The only way you'll be able to find more wings are in um, levels like these. That, you know, first introduce the, uh, the wings, you know. I'm a poindexter now. I was doofus before, now I'm a poindexter. Probably wondering what the hell was that. That's my extra life. It's, it's a little weird, I know, but... Oh, right. Go to bed, everybody. Come on. And now we're going to go through. Wait. Sure. You got anything to say? No? Good. Fuck off. Now, come on. Studish. Oh, more acres wings. Yeah, but anyways, they just introduced the, uh, the Icarus wings, so they're gonna give you a lot of, they're gonna try to give you a lot of Icarus wings, but, uh, but, but you see, shit, 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 shit. Purple level, by the way. Purple belt. Extra points for kicking her over the edge. Hell yeah. This game's brutal. <laughs> Seriously, you get extra points for kicking someone over the edge. This game is more brutal than you think it is. Uh, no. I don't need any more spring shoes. I forgot to unlock bubble shield. And I got four keys left, so... I have to keep going. You're probably wondering, but how the hell do you know where you are? Boom. Map. White button. <laughs> they tell you that in the, in the beginning of the game. I just don't pay attention because I already know what to do. That's not what... It's not what your mom said. <laughs> I'm answering the little girl. She said, she said that I'm a lot cuter than you are. I'm like, that's not what your mom said. You know? <laughs> I'm flying, flying. 
Where is it? Okay, new area. Okay, so. No, I'm, I'm good. Quit crying. Is this everything? Is this everything? I said, oh no! Oh, I crashed! <coughs> Fuck you. Get back here. I'll have it. Good. I like fried chicken. What does that mean? I'm in the mood. That's what it means. <laughs> I'm in the mood, man. I'm in the mood. Congratulations, you found all the keys on this level. Now here's a hundred points. Now go kick everybody in the in the dingleberries. Oh, trust me. Like I said before, you're gonna want as many Icarus wings as you want because there's such thing as double time wings and triple time wings, which means they'll slow down the time a little more so you can use them. But you know, triple time wings and double time wings are not till later. So, yeah. Why am I teaching you this? You're just here to watch this, aren't you? I thought that was rhythm. Ah! Everyone wants my food present. If the little girl doesn't act nice, the little girl's gonna get punished. You got me? Fuck you! Okay, the funny thing is, I'm gonna say this, okay? Congratulations, you've converted all the earthlings on this level. No, I didn't. There's this one right- Oh, she's converted. Okay. Never mind. Well, anyways, um... Anyways. We did it. I couldn't have done it without you. Wait a minute. You gotta love this music, you know? Alright, um... Future me, you know what to do. Yeah, um... We're wrapping up the video right here. Alright. Leave a like down below if you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed to the channel or you just did, make sure to ring the bell so you can keep up to date to every single video and live stream that I do for this channel. I have a collab channel with my brother and my best friend. My brother's and I's collab channel is called The Glitchling Brothers. We actually... Um... <clears throat> do this except for face you know possible comedy if you're into uh, swearing and a bunch of shit like that I mean cheap way to get laughs but whatever I say whatever works it works you know <laughs> but anyways um When it comes down to my best friend and I's collab channel, it's called the Glistening Army, but the Glistening Army is not only a collab channel that me and my best friend do, it is also a Discord server and an Xbox club under the same name. We have a rule and a motto for the server, the club, the channel, whatever. We have a thing... We have one rule called don't be a jerk, all right? We can't stand jerks and we will do by any means necessary to discharge you from the glitchling army, AKA meaning kick or block you from the server or the club, you know, and we won't, and we do not, we won't feel bad at all because we know we made the good decision. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you? <laughs> Wake up. Okay then, lovely. Um. Anyways, now for the motto. If you already know what it is, I suggest you say it with me now, okay? And if you're in study hall, say it quietly, please. Okay? I don't want to be the reason for you guys getting in trouble. Stay glitchy, everyone.